gonna change the face of the whole city. You know how meaningful that is? To be the guy in the neighborhood who takes care of people? Our names are gonna live forever. To take him back, Gotham! Have you ever wondered what it truly takes to run Gotham's underworld? How does one consolidate power over ruthless gangs and the ever-powerful triads, all while keeping enemies at bay? Episode 6 of the Penguin Gold Summit may finally answer these questions as Gotham's notorious kingpin, Oz, maneuvers through high-stakes power plays and personal confrontations. This episode brings us face to face with mounting tensions and alliances forged under pressure, setting the stage for an explosive showdown. With cliffhangers that leave us eagerly awaiting for next week, does the episode have the payoff fans have been waiting for? And do the geniuses over at IGN know what the hell they're talking about with their shitty reviews? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the raging dumpster fire that is modern Hollywood. Before we dive in, take a moment to like and subscribe. If just a fraction of the 95% of you who watch but haven't subscribed yet hit that button, it would make a huge difference in helping the channel grow. And the best part is, subscribing is completely free. In Gold Summit, we see the Penguin take strides in tying together the intricate web of Gotham's criminal landscape. The story begins with a long-awaited confrontation between Eve and Sophia two powerful women who have maneuvered through Oz's empire in vastly different ways. Eve confronts Sophia, delivering a tense, masterfully written scene that reveals her intelligence and grit, challenging Sophia's initial assumptions about her. This conversation also deepens Sophia's character, bringing her complexities to light in an I see you moment that forges a begrudging respect between them given what Carmine Falcone put both women through. Meanwhile, Victor gets a taste of gang life, which he's longed for ever since joining Oz's ranks. As he dives into this world, he realizes that the thrill may not be all it's cracked up to be, especially when a brutal scene with Squid reveals the violent reality of gangster life. Oz, on the other hand, focuses on business and solidifying his power. His drug business is booming, and a time jump between episodes has allowed him to focus on building alliances among the various gangs and the triad. In one of the episode's key scenes, Oz gathers Gotham's gangs and the Chinese triads, convincing them to join forces with him, a master stroke of manipulation that shows his prowess as a leader. A simple yet telling smirk before he sips his beer, shows his confidence. He knows he's got them right where he wants them. One of the episode's most compelling aspects is the outstanding performances by Kristen Milioti as Sophia and Colin Farrell as Oz, whose contrasting styles breathe life into their characters. Milioti continues to bring depth and nuance to Sophia, showcasing her transformation from a calculating outsider to a figure capable of challenging Oz. Her scenes with Eve, particularly the tense standoff in this episode, highlight her subtle, simmering intensity, making her a formidable counterpart to Oz's bombastic style. Farrell's performance as Oz is equally magnetic, but in an entirely different way. With his raw physicality and relentless ambition, he embodies the grit and determination of a crime lord consolidating his power. While Miliati's portrayal is one of restrained, simmering emotion, Farrell channels Oz's confidence through his commanding presence, as in episodes past. This episode's highlight, his gathering of the gangs and his effortless manipulation of the crowd, exemplifies his strength as a leader. His slight smirk, barely noticeable before he takes a sip of beer, is a masterful touch by Farrell. It's a moment that speaks volumes, he knows he has his empire in his grasp, and that subtle gesture is all the more chilling because of its quiet confidence. For fans of the show who have been eagerly awaiting Oz's rise, the episode finally delivers. All the buildup of the first five episodes starts to pay off here. Watching him bring the various gangs of Gotham and the Chinese triads under his influence is thrilling. This is the Oz we've been waiting to see. Cunning, persuasive, and unrelenting in his pursuit of power. 
as he stands before his allies in his classic comic-inspired peacoat. His transformation into the feared penguin is nearly complete. All he needs is a top hat. The execution of this scene is a testament to his strategic brilliance and Farrell's ability to command the screen. The choice to have him charm the room with cans of Tricorner Gold Ale is a clever one, a perfect combination of intimidation and charisma. It's a scene that speaks not just to his ability to manipulate, but also to his understanding of Gotham's criminal hierarchy. The gangs may have initially been hesitant, especially Zhao, who seems unconvinced by Oz's plan, but Oz's influence is undeniable and despite some initial doubts, they yield to his authority, further cementing his dominance over Gotham's criminal underworld. While Oz takes the lead, the supporting characters in the episode shine in their own ways. Eve's confrontation with Sophia is a standout moment, one that's been building for several episodes. Here, Eve finally gets to showcase her intelligence and resilience forcing Sophia to reevaluate her initial underestimation of her. Their exchange is one of the most intense and well-written scenes in the series so far, delivering both tension and mutual respect. Watching Eve hold her own against Sophia is not only satisfying, but also a testament to how the show values nuanced female characters who are capable of playing the power game. See? This is how you write strong female characters. I'm so glad the Mary Sues of the Dark Age of Cinema are finally behind us with this show. Victor's storyline is equally as interesting, albeit with a different focus. He has longed for a role in Oz's empire, but finds himself disillusioned after witnessing the brutal realities of gang life. His role as a babysitter for Francis initially frustrated him, and the time jump in this episode sees him taking on more responsibilities, only to find that the action is not as glamorous as he had imagined. His friend Squid's death scene, raw and brutal, is a wake-up call for Victor, who now questions if he's truly cut out for this life. It's a poignant arc that adds depth to his character, hinting at the internal conflict that may ultimately decide his fate. But is it too late? Was this finally the turning point for his character? Only time will tell, I guess. Of course, what would a Penguin episode be without a cliffhanger? Gold Summit ends with a tantalizing setup for next week's episode. With tensions at an all-time high between Oz and Sophia, the stakes are as personal as they are political. Sophia's discovery that Oz still has someone to lose promises a showdown filled with raw emotion and personal vendettas. It's an ending that, while perhaps is dulled by the series' frequent use of cliffhangers, feels particularly potent here especially after all the death talk between Oz and his mother. The brewing tension has been building for several episodes, and it finally seems poised to erupt in a way that will leave both characters irrevocably changed. The episode is a turning point in The Penguin, a powerful blend of character development, strategic manipulation, and long-awaited confrontations, and the audience payoff. With Kristen Milioti and Colin Farrell delivering powerhouse performances, the episode expertly balances the intense rivalry between Oz and Sophia, while also shedding light on the complex dynamics within Oz's empire. Oz's consolidation of power over Gotham's gangs and the triads marks a major victory, one that he savors with that unforgettable smirk. He knows he's in control, and we, the audience, are left on the edge of our seats, eagerly awaiting the chaos that will inevitably follow. But will Oz turn around and go after Sophia's personal stakes, namely Theo Rossi's Dr. Julian Rush? That's what I'm thinking. But what do you guys think about all this? Did you like the payoff in episode 6? And what do you think will happen in the final two episodes of the season? Please do let me know down below in the comments, and as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one! Okie dokie!